That was by Percy Granger, Country Gardens, here on KPR, Kansas Public Radio. Good morning. I'm Cordelia Brown. And now we're up to my favorite part of the morning. We'll hear some piano music played by a young Kansas City pianist. He is 15 years old. He's a high school sophomore at Olathe Northwest. And we'll, we'll talk to him later and find out more about him, but let's listen to him play. This is one of the images from book one uh, by Claude Debussy. It describes reflections in the water. Miles Swaminathan is our pianist. Thank you. 
beautiful rendition of a piece by Claude Debussy, one of his book one images, Reflections on the Water. I know Debussy was an impressionist composer, and that could have just been his, his feelings or his impressions, but we could certainly, oh, and part of that, feel the murkiness of the water and the wind in the trees. That was a performance by pianist Miles Swaminathan, who is here with us in the KPR studio. He's um, got just today and tomorrow left of winter break from Olathe Northwest, and he was kind enough to come over and, and share some music with us this morning. We'll talk to him in just a bit, and we'll hear some Chopin next, and then Liszt and Norman De La Joyo. This is KPR, Kansas Public Radio. Thanks for joining us. Well, let's hear Nathan play again, or I'm sorry, I was taking part of your last name into your first name, Miles Swaminathan. Let's hear Miles play some Chopin next. This is from Opus 39. It's Chopin's Scherzo No. 3 in C-sharp minor. Miles Swaminathan now at the piano here in the KPR Live studio. Thank you. 
That is by Chopin. That is Chopin's Scherzo Number no. 3 in C-sharp minor from Opus 39, played by Kansas City pianist Miles Swaminathan, who is 15. He's a high school sophomore at Olathe Northwest, and he is currently our musical athlete representing us all, the Music Teachers National Association 2019-2020 West Central Division for Senior Piano Competition. And he's also a Stuco representative at Old Latham Northwest, and he likes golfing, working out, and spending time with his family. Why don't you come over to the um, speaking microphone? Miles, I want to talk to you a little bit. Very nice performances. You've been playing since you were seven? Uh, yes, I have. Great. Mm. Well, tell us, about, um, tell us about your current teacher and what you're working on now. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank KPR and you for having me come down here and play. Oh, it's yeah. wonderful to have you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's, you sound great. So my current teacher right now is Dr. Robert Weirich, and right now we're uh, working on a Mendelssohn concerto for a few competitions coming up, uh, his first piano concerto. And aside from that, I actually had some other repertoire that I was working on, solo repertoire. And then when this came up, I was already originally maintaining these pieces for MTNA, but then I realized how fun it would be to get to play it on air. So I started spending more time on those pieces, and now I'm playing them right now. Well, I was so glad when your dad wrote to me and said that, well, he just kind of sent me a more or less a press release about your, your competition. And um, I thought, well, let's check him out. Let's <laughs> have him come play. And he said that you are an avid KPR listener. I am. <laughs> This has been uh, my great. favorite listening station ever since I was little. Well, that is so rare amongst 15-year-olds. <laughs> I think that's just wonderful. So, uh, you know, it's, it's great to read that you're involved in student council and golfing and working out that, I don't know, a lot of people are just a little afraid when somebody is so musically talented and obviously spends so much time practicing that you don't have any time for fun. So it sounds like you are at least managing your time well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, so, that's um, one of the things that I try and work on is managing my time well. Yes. Because obviously with high school, I've got tons of homework. And then I've got golfing going on and I've got piano going on. And I think over the years, I've found a, a great way to spend my time wisely. Oh, that's good. Tell me, um, what are you taking this uh, semester, which will start Wednesday, I guess? But will you have any new classes? Do you go by the um, be a new so I have my usual core classes, which are all honors classes. And then one of my new classes that I'll be taking is intro to computer programming. That should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And the cool thing is my dad is a, he's a computer programmer. And that's one of the things that he's fantastic at, among m many other things. So I have someone to help me with my homework. Oh, for that's that class. right. He yeah. will be able to <laughs> help you like nobody's business. That'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Are you taking any musical? I mean, any oh yeah, electives? I'm taking AP Music Theory. Oh really? Yeah, it's it's super fun. I bet. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it make helps you to know, make sense of pieces a little bit more. Yeah. And I meant to ask you in the first piece in the Debussy when you were playing Reflections in the Water, you seemed to be in such a reverie, and I just wondered what you were thinking about. Were you thinking about the like, you know, ripples or reflections in the water. What was going through your mind? Well, I'm, whenever I play that piece, I'm always thinking about the music itself, but also I'm listening to the color and the sound that I'm producing. Because if I can, you know, find a sweet spot with the music and I can be able to listen to, you know, how the harmonies are changing and how the overall music is sounding in the room, then I think I'm able to find a good place and then just keep going with that. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it was very nice, and I, I know that when you're playing softly, it can be hard to be expressive, but you did that very well. Thank you. Okay, well, let's hear some more music. Uh, next, we'll hear from the, um, the Paganini Etudes uh, by Franz Liszt, and this is the sixth part, the theme and variations part, the Paganini variations, or sorry, Paganini Grand Etudes, of list and our pianist is young Miles Swaminathan of Kansas City. Here's the list.
Wow, that was exciting. That was Miles Swaminathan playing the theme and variations from the uh, Grand Etudes of Paganini, the music of Franz Liszt. This morning here on the Steinway B in the live studio here at Kansas Public Radio. Good morning, I'm Cordelia Brown, and thanks to our engineers for making this sound so good, Jason Sloat and Chuck Smith. And check our, um, you can see a picture of our pianist and a video is forthcoming on our Facebook page. We're listening to Miles Swaminathan this morning, and he is 15, and he's still on his um, holiday break from Olathe Northwest. And he, uh, he's been a merit scholar at Indiana University's Piano Academy. Uh, he st- studied with Karen Kushner and currently studying under Dr. Robert Weirich, who is one of the piano teachers at UMKC, Conservatory of Music. And he, Miles was asked by the Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts to play during the 2019 Future Stages Festival. So he's also a Division Three winner of Ovation Young Artist Piano Competition with special recognition for artistry and technique. We'll talk to him in a bit, um, but next, let's hear some more modern music. Here is the fourth movement from the Sonata Number no. 3 for Piano. This is by Norman DeLoGioio. Here's pianist Miles Swaminathan now here in the KPR Live Performance Studio. Played by Miles Swaminathan, pianist, age 15. That was by Norman DeLoGioio, the Sonata n- Number no. 3, the fourth movement. And Miles, thank you so much for coming to play for us. You're just great. Thank you. And <laughs> thanks again for having me over here. Oh, you are more than welcome. What, what's coming up next for you? So up next, uh, I find out about 
how I did in MTNA regionals and around January 15th. And then right now I'm just working on a lot more repertoire for another solo recital. Um, I know I have one coming up around May or something, but I remember that's for like a musician circle in uh, Missouri, if I remember correctly. So I have that coming up. But other than that, uh, it's just preparing for MTNA if I do make it to nationals and uh, you know, just learning more music. So that's about it. Do you have a, a website or a Facebook page or something where uh, we can I keep up with Instagram. you? I have an Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think I found you there. on. Mm -hmm. And it's, what's the? Piano Boy Miles. Yes, and yeah. it's B-O-I. B-O-I. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a good way to keep up mm -hmm. with what you're doing. And as a high school sophomore, thinking back college, what, uh, what would be your dream college? So right now I'm keeping my options open. I've, I've been doing my research for bunch of music schools and engineering schools, so I'm still keeping my options open. Yeah. Haven't well, made any decisions yet, but yeah, it's good I'm to... I'm sure a lot of yeah. colleges will want to have you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's been great to have you play. Miles Swaminathan, he is 15 years old. He's a high school sophomore. Uh, he's a Kansas City. Well, he goes to Olathe Northwest, and he studies with Dr. Robert Wyrick. So um, thanks for coming. Thanks for having and me. And I hope we can hear you again soon. I hope so, too. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Next on KPR, let's go on with some Baccarini. Let's hear some chamber music by Baccarini now on Kansas Public Radio.